Welcome to the people. It's it. My name is Tyler. Today I'm going to show you guys some uh, simple render basic stuff and just uh, showing you the render setting and how you can use it. So uh, first I want to show you guys this is your viewport and you can adjust this uh, at this top here where it says renderer. You can hit either viewport 2.0 or you can go straight to the Arnold renderer. You can render it from the viewport itself. Uh, or what I like to do is you go to the top here you hit Arnold and you hit open Arnold render view and so this shows you just a uh, picture instead of taking up your entire viewport you can still work on it you can still adjust stuff real time it's incredibly laggy just because this was never meant to like move around and such and I also don't have a supercomputer so so we're gonna close this right now we'll come back to that in a bit so what we're gonna do is we're gonna do adjust some of these settings to show you guys what's up so uh, I'm going to go to this top section here. We're going to hit uh, display at render view. And so this enables you to uh, customize all of the render settings. So we're going to go over here. There are different renderers for um, older software and older computers, but today we're going to be using Unreal Render. And so just going down all of these, um, this is how you control all of the different settings and how. Um, advanced and nice uh, you want these things to be. I typically don't um, change some of this. Um, most of the stuff it usually stays the same unless I want these shadows to be uh, crisper instead of being all pixelated and whatnot. But what we're gonna do, what I want to show you guys is um, when you save an image or when you save your render for objects, uh, not talking about animations and such. Uh, I'll let this go really quick. Uh, when you want to save the actual image, you can customize all of that, and that's what I want to show you today. So, uh, when we just open it up back to the common tab, this is the file output. Now, uh, there are many options here, but usually the default is set to, uh, let's see, I believe it's set to one of those and so what you want to do typically I like to save my pictures in JPEG it doesn't really matter JPEG PNG whatever works for you and so this is how you customize it and with every different project that you make it will revert these back to the default and so you just want to make sure to go through these and make sure they are set to what you want so um, scrolling down to image size this is the uh, primary thing you want to look out for and so this entire section just has all these presets and typically what I do um, depending on your project if you're making a wallpaper uh, a icon or whatever you want to put these dimensions in typically I just use 1080 for when I post these on my um, art station and you can uh, change all of these like you can put these in pixels and centimeters pixel, pixels and inches etc etc and so, uh, when you're done with the render, as you can see here, it is finished. Uh, you don't want to move the camera because it will restart it. don't want to do that. So what you're going to do when you're all finished, uh, you're going to go to File, and you're going to say Save Image. And so now, this is another project I'm doing, but um, you can name the file, whatever. So we'll just do this as Test, and we'll name it, we'll save it, boom. And that's done. So uh, just make it nicer. You can pause the render. I'm gonna go look for this really quick. And here we have it. This is our fully rendered image. And so now I already adjusted some of these settings just to make sure like the shadows aren't too hard or whatnot. But this is what the final image looks like. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the video and learned something new today. I'll see you guys on the next video.